Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are all well, and if not, hope tomorrow is better for you. But yeah, I was kind of hesitant on doing this live. I I kind of feel like uh, riding a bike again. Like, I, it's been a while, and I can feel that it's been a while. But the main reason why I wanted to come on and show you guys kind of what's going on, uh, and the big reason why I've been in a hurry to get this done and why I haven't been able to do videos and the neglect that's been going on in my fish room but I'm finally at a point now where I've got the main line hooked in and I can actually add water so I wanted to show you guys the tanks where they got and the road to recovery getting the fish room back into order and now that I can add water that process is going to start like some of these tanks have gone almost seven weeks plus without any water changes or water added besides like my main rainbow tank which that one I still kind of babied it went a few weeks but hello to everybody in the chat I'm seeing them all roll in so thank you all for being on here and hello so let me go ahead and show you guys some stuff on here Robert's on here too flip aquatics all right let me turn you guys around so you can see these tanks, most of them are, th this one's always green kind of. This one didn't get too bad, algae and stuff, so the plants aren't the greatest. And that's a big reason why I don't sell, why I haven't been really selling stuff right now because I knew I'd be running into algae issues like that and I didn't want to send people bad plants or anything. This thing still needs all planted because the medications from what happened a while back wiped out all the plants so I gotta redo all that that's looking bad algae's taking over like it's mostly the water levels and then like the dinginess of the water it's like terrible yellowish looking it's just not fresh it's not clean like this look at this thing this tank's pretty much out of water Luckily, there's nothing in there. I did unplug the heater. Look at that. Water's turning green. Everybody's alive. Like, the fish are doing okay. Like, look at this. This nasty. That's where those angelfish died. I haven't touched it since. Still has some meds in it. Because I haven't wanted to touch anything since I'm doing this system. I didn't want to contaminate any hoses. I didn't want anything to go any farther. But, yeah, you can see. And... I just built this new rack and I'm getting ready to build a couple more racks here because I've got to take all these down because I didn't build this right as some of you guys have seen before I didn't build this right so I'm getting bowing might have to redo all that and yeah so that's a whole process let me show you some more of these tanks I'm going to read through the comments here feel free to ask questions i may get to them may not get to them this is my carbon blaster that's going to be for the ro unit bunch of carbon i think 33 pounds sitting on the floor there i still got to do the outflows but i've got most of the intakes done this is the new ro system it's going to be 3,000 gallons a day just got the main line hooked in this is the only thing i had a plumber to do like i wouldn't have been able to afford a plumber to do all this piping I've got valves for each section. I probably saved like 20 grand from doing that myself. But I've got a temperature gauge. This is just a shower heater so I could turn it on. Watch my temperature on here. It's set about 74 where I want my tanks. Then I've got an RO in and an RO out for later so I could bypass. So I can have either hard tap water or soft RO water. Which that'll be nice. I can change any type of uh water or tank to whatever i want and like you see these tanks looking real bad really crusty you know all the ammonia like fish oils are gathering up so my baby fish haven't really been growing like they should not very fast like this tank's really out of water it is kind of neat though hygrophilia compacta i never thought it would grow very well out of water with being in water but it actually does it's kind of neat looking because i never had to water that low to be able to discover that but 
There's actually fish in there too, like red laser with pongas. There's some right there. I mean, they're all doing okay. But you, when you're doing like EI, FERT dosing and stuff like that, water changes are important. Same with like the growth of your fish and stuff like that. The oils add up. It's just good to get water changes that's done. But here's an example of the intake. All the plumbing's done in here. It's got a stainless steel mesh cover on it. I'll show you guys what those look like more close up on those. Lagging badly. Yeah, it looks good on my end. I wish when it I wish when it went bad on here it would go bad on my end so I could tell when you guys are having an issue and I could switch Wi-Fi. But I'm using these and the big reason why I got this, I know they make different kinds. But the big reason why I got this is because the bottom is solid. So when the water gets in there, the water is going to hit the bottom of that and disperse out on the sides, which will allow me to fill up the tanks a lot quicker. A lot quicker, which saving time is of the essence in why I'm doing this whole thing. <sighs> yeah, I saw all your shrimp flip aquatics you got in yesterday. That was cool. You can tell how happy I am to hear your voice, Jane Ting. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you guys have been very patient with waiting for me. Here's a cool red wapunga. It's a great fish. All right, let's go to the main fish room. So really, the only thing I got to do is hook this up, which I'm probably going to have somebody help me hook this up. I've done some RO systems, but this thing is beastly, and I'm not 100% sure on it, and... I don't want to screw that thing up. That's for sure. Hello, all you guys coming in. And another thing, too, is like this whole freaking. It's just a mess. It's clutter everywhere. Like it's just disaster area everywhere. And with my OCD, this stuff just drives me crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <sighs> See, bathroom's wreck. All these fish tanks are a wreck. But a good thing that's coming out of this as well is I get to hang all my lights. So this is all open. Oh, look at all that space to work. That's going to be beautiful. I'm going to love that part of it. So I'm going to end up hanging all my lights. Look, these have like hardly any water in it. There's nothing in there yet. You guys know how hard I worked on trying to get that up just to keep production going and then look at where I'm at now like I still haven't put nothing in it I got stuck doing this because well life happens family comes first you know but I have been doing water changes on this every week or two these are these guys are definitely my main babies I do need to rescue this crypt down there that's getting eaten by this red metallic crypt and then these tanks still need... I'm waiting on ball valves from Home Depot. Like, the biggest problem with getting all this done is getting enough product to get it done. Like, because nobody orders a hundred some... hundred to two hundred ball valves. They're like, what in the world are you even doing? And I told them. They're like, okay. So I've got to start it on this rack. I'm going to start finishing this up. Like, you won't see it on all the racks like this. Like, every rack is different. This rack was really hard to plumb in. Like most people probably would have went in the front and done it, but I figured I only got to do it once, so I went ahead and went in the back, went the hard way, but it looks a lot cleaner. Same here, look, hardly any water in that tank. There are shrimp in there. And there's... So whenever I get off here, I'm going to start hitting switches. I'm actually going to test one tank first because I know there's some oil that are on the ball valve so hopefully that doesn't get into the tank and screw everything up so I'll have to do some testing too first but I'm ready to get water in here I think I may be uh, let me flip you guys over or actually you guys probably like to see this better in my face but uh, I think I might actually be doing a Q&A tomorrow too so if you guys do got more questions and whatnot, I think I'm going to go ahead and hop on tomorrow 
I just got done editing the part two of the Bod Rock video. Aquarium Co-op in the house too, or Aquarium Cop. What's up, Aquarium Cop, Aquarium Apprentice, all you guys in the chat, hello, hello. Alright, guys. So there it is. That's kind of the neg neglect that's been going on in here. It's not, like, real bad, but to me, like, the algae's getting out of hand. The oils are building up. Shrimp really, or the fish aren't really growing out. I've actually only been feeding everything once a day instead of twice like I normally do. So I'm not getting a bunch of breeding like I did, but at the same time, I'm not getting as much waste, so... That I'm ready for more balance. Things haven't been balanced. I haven't been able to do what I actually love. I feel like I'm working construction again, not actually playing in my tank. So I'm just going to be excited to get back into them. Really going to try to uh, push out these overflows. Like I feel like I'm at the peak where I can kind of. I feel like I'm going towards the downhill part of it, and I can start doing what I love to do again. And I can't wait for it. But I hope you all have a great evening, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow, and we can chat more about stuff, and thank you for coming and chatting and all that, and saying hi, and for all the love, you guys, I appreciate it. Alright, till next time, everybody. Peace.